What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Jeff and this is Experimental Perception. Now some of you may remember the vacuum cannon and some of you may remember the air cannon. Well today we're going to combine both and hopefully get these ping pong balls moving supersonic and I'm sure we can find something to shoot at. Stick around. Now the plan is to fire the air cannon into the vacuum cannon, which I'm hoping will increase the pressure enough so that as the ping pong ball travels down the vacuum tube, it'll build enough pressure to go fully supersonic and into that watermelon. Now I have shot a lot of these ping pong balls and they just don't have a lot of mass to them. So when they come out and they hit a massive object like this, my guess is it's just going to bounce off. It may leave a little indention. Um, but I don't think it's gonna do much more than that. We're probably gonna to have to make some modifications to make this thing a little spectacular, but let me fire it. I've got a measuring um, stick to see how fast it goes. Let's just see what happens. All right, here we go. First ping pong crawl test into the watermelon in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that thing did a little bit more damage than I thought it was going to be. Oh man, here's, here's the ball embedded in the watermelon. Wow, it, it, according to the high speed, it was going around 985 miles per hour. Yes, fully supersonic. Although I really didn't expect it to do that much damage. I was hoping to shoot it again with something a little more powerful. So I'm gonna have to go get another watermelon and then I'm going to try taking one of these ping pong balls, filling it up with water so it has a little more weight and hit it again and I'm hoping we'll get a little bit bigger explosion. Be right back. All right, back again. This is the water-filled ping pong ball test in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you have it. That's, that's about all that's left of that watermelon. These ping pong balls, when you fill them with water, they're quite destructive. Oh man, if you can think of something that you would like to see me shoot, leave me some comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until then, I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm gonna shoot the other watermelon one more time for the outtake, so might wanna stick around and watch. Catch you later.